To me, the sound of water calmly babbling downstream is one of the most relaxing sounds in the world. And if you feel the same way, and you enjoy exploring nature, then you should definitely make time to visit Joe's River when you're in Barbados. Located on the east coast just north of Bathsheba, Joe's River is one of only two above-ground rivers in Barbados. It is most easily accessed near the coast where the recently built bridge is located. The view from the bridge is beautiful, but the fun for me starts once you go down to the river. I suspect there is more water flowing during the rainy season, but since I visited during the dry season, the water flow was quite low. As you walk along the river, the first thing you notice is just how many tiny waterfalls and pools there are. It's not uncommon to find people swimming in the pools near the bridge. The taller trees surrounding both sides of the river form a canopy that shades the river, but those trees also provide a walkway for monkeys to cross. While I was walking, a large troop of Barbados green monkeys passed by overhead. It should be apparent by now that this is not an easy hike. Large fallen rocks are everywhere, making the terrain anything but even. The rocks themselves are made of coral limestone, as is most of Barbados and you can see the fossilized impressions of the coral in every boulder. Of course, the vegetation grows anywhere it can take root. A discerning eye can spot papaya trees, noni fruit trees, which is called dog dumpling fruit in Barbados, and of course, plenty of coconut trees. All right, we're here on Joe's River. It is humider than all heck out here. And I came across this coconut wedged between two rocks. How does this coconut shell start to grow? But life doesn't exist solely above the water. As you're about to see, below the surface of the pools is an aquatic environment full of smaller fish. There are so many fantastic small waterfalls that editing down all the footage I recorded was a difficult task. It seemed like every 50 feet there was a new scene even more peaceful and beautiful than the last one. So if you ever want to spend an afternoon getting away from it all and can handle a more rigorous hike, I highly recommend exploring Joe's River, a peaceful, underappreciated part of Barbados.